Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X Men Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're checking out some Red Dead Redemption 2. This time we're running it with AMD's Fluid Motion Frames. Let's go ahead and look at our settings real quick. We're running this bad baby, and let's get in here at the graphics. So we're at 1440p. We're going to keep VSync off. Texture quality is all ultra, all of this stuff. But it's what I want to do. So I want to take this this AMD f thing all the way to performance and then I want to turn the sharpening up and I want to see what this looks like on here cuz I've never I've never tried that on this game. So that should lower our our overall <laughs> it still looks better than PS5. You can see like a little bit of ghosting and stuff now though. But our image quality looks pretty dang stable. Ultra's pretty tough on this. Yeah, like this works. Let's show you guys this real quick. So our average frame rate is about 71. Actually, let me do this. Let me pull this up and then go over here to the performance. Overlay. Let's do this one right here on the top right. So that way we can see both of them. Okay, let me get back out of here. Okay, now we can see both of them and we can kind of see like the, you know, 1% lows, all of that stuff. So we're about 140, so we're, we're doubling that 71 frames or whatever. Um, honestly, it looks like we were getting about, oh wow, now we're up to 120. Look at that. Oh, I guess, I guess maybe that other stuff kind of, kind of kicked in with the, um, with it being... You know 1440p now let me be clear okay so with using performance on this on the 1440p monitor it looks very very clean very sharp it doesn't it doesn't look bad at all like this actually looks very very clean like i'm not i'm not having any problems and i mean we're at like 120 frames all of that feels dang good uh, latency, obviously, you can tell the frame gen lag. The frame gen lag is about 20, 20 something milliseconds, so not not like super terrible, especially if you're using a controller like I am right now. But I mean, still having like ultra settings on here, and then like looking out across the map, that softer look to me looks better, looks more realistic than it, than it does if it's all sharpened and and everything. Um, if it's all sharpened, but putting this on performance, like you kind of have to turn the sharpening back up. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't make it look, uh, whatchamacallit, like it doesn't make it look all freaking blurry or smudgy or any of that stuff. Like this looks very nice. This looks better than it does on Xbox Series X and PS5 and you're quadrupling the frame rate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and, and like, look at these trees. They don't look all fuzzy. Like they do on on the PS5 and stuff, it it looks good. Like this looks really clean. This is like the best checkerboard I've ever seen in my life. Why does it drop down to 70s over here? Oh! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Get back here. Hit the wrong stupid button. I hit B to get on them or something. <laughs> dude that was so cool i punched him he kicked me oh that was awesome that was awesome dude this game never gets old you could play this one here forever i mean it's absolutely beautiful especially on pc oh my gosh look at this thing just glide this is such a good game <laughs> oh 
Oh, wow. So 250 frames a second. This looks ultra smooth. Like, you don't see any, like, jutter or anything. This just feels great. Dang. The way the detail pops, even with Ultra, oh, or, or a Performance FSR. Performance. Now, I know I'm uploading this video at 4K. So, yeah, it's not going to look as good as it does on my 1440p monitor. But if you put it on a 1440p monitor and look at it, it will look identical to what I'm seeing right now. Because even with the even with the YouTube um, even with the YouTube um, compression, if you're downsampling to 1440p or 1080p, like you will see this image looking insanely good, insanely good. And we've even got some really nice freaking. That one person lows aren't too bad. 53. Let's see if we're going to drop down in this little city thing. Well, we are getting a little bit lower than the in the 60s. But we are. Let's let my horse kind of rest a little bit. I was beating the brakes off of him. See, now this here is like something that you would use to get to get like a higher frame rate. And very nice image quality. And see, that's the thing, man. That's the bonus of having a 1440p monitor. Since I've started playing around with ultra performance and like checking it out and really looking at it and kind of trying to see what why everybody hates it or or bags on it so much this actually doesn't look terrible maybe maybe they're trying to use it on like an nvidia gpu or something but if you're using this on amd this does not look horrible i mean this looks very very nice wow <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't make it look bad at all. This actually works very well. I mean, obviously like when you turn the camera, you can see like his hair kind of look checkerboardy and stuff. But it doesn't look terrible. I mean, this looks still better than what you get on a console. So I mean, and you can you can run this at 100 100 ish frames, 60 to 60 to 120 frames with these settings, and then crank it up even farther with AMD's fluid motion frames over over uh, up to up to 200 frames or whatever. And the water still takes. Uh, takes a toll on your uh, on your frame rate but then you can get back up oh yeah dude you could easily play this like this easily better than console settings So you get out here by this water and obviously you start losing that, that frame rate or whatever. But I mean you still feel like you're at one, 130 at least visually. Because it's just so freaking smooth. Yeah, so we'll be testing this on the 7600 XT a little bit later this week. We got a couple more days till I can get my hands on that bad boy. But yeah, this will be one of the first games I pop out. 
So, all right, my friends, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yes, and and I do have the, uh, the, the newest preview beta driver for this, the one that is actually launching on the 24th. I already have access to that now. So, all right, my friends, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will definitely be seeing you guys in the next one.